Okay, the instructions on this little mat were, this little copper mat were, not to use this uh, up to 500 degrees. So this, woo woo, this thing right here is hotter than a $2 pistol. Mercy. Ah, that is why. That's not a clock. I thought that was a clock. It's not. That's the temperature gauge. So it's 700 degrees in here, which means that that the handle is also very, very, very hot. All right, one of the quickest ways to release the heat is to just open the lid. So we're gonna put our vegetables on first and let them take away some of that heat. I'm gonna show you what I did. I've got the coals and they're they're going, they're glowing. And uh, just so that I didn't ruin this, I'm gonna set this mat off center just a little bit. Let's see if it gets hot. So I got the vegetables, you can hear them going already. And it's flaming up just like I didn't want it to. Must be a hole in my bag. Well, when you're cooking, you always want to be able to improvise, and so that's what we're going to do now. We okay. Well, you see how that went. So my little uh, my foil packet did not work at all. Let's see if this is hot. Whoa! That also hotter than a $2 pistol. What I did was I put two of the chickens here on directly on the grill. And you see you're getting all that nasty grill junk. But we're still wanting to see the comparison between the two. According to the box, this will make grill marks. So we're going to see. I'm not thoroughly convinced, but I will tell you that this it doesn't have any of that grill char junk on it. That's pretty cool, except that that I just added on there. Take a look at the two. Here. This one's not directly on the heat. And this one's on the copper mat and the cast iron skillet because our foil pouch was a complete fail. So what I'm going to do now is just lower this down and see what happens. Ooh wee, the clock is ticking. Okay, so let's go check out our grill situation. It looks like we've got a fire. We always want to get that put out as quickly as we can. Okay. Plan B. But seriously, let's see how our chicken is. Because before the flame up there, so far this is really cool. It says that it easy to clean up I mean it sure does look like it but I want to show you what I had here I had the grill it was it was partially open and the clock said 350 that's about where you want to keep it that's where I like to keep mine uh, so all right our clock had gotten up to 400 so Need to drop that heat a little bit. You don't want to ruin this. You know, it's more than that, it's that I don't want to ruin this chicken because I'm not made of money. I'm telling you what, these things are looking really good and the juice is staying in. It's not dripping into the flames like these. Of course, if you like that char, 
that's something that you really appreciate about outdoor cooking, then by all means do it this way and not this way. Let's see how these vegetables taste. Mmm. Heavenly. All right, I'm going to show you a little trick, and we'll see. Uh, but what I did was I split this chicken open because I thought it wasn't quite done. But if you look there, it's, uh, it really is. Maybe, maybe a little bit. You need to speed the process up a little bit. You can do exactly what I did. And that's just butterfly that thing right down the center. And then that way it's sure to get cooked all the way through. I'm going to leave these, not butterfly them, because I'd like to know how well that mat is working. So we'll see.